All right, so here I am. I am here to look for some giant centipedes. Skull tender heroes, of course. Anyway, it's a giant centipede that uh, gets pretty big. Maybe up to 10 inches, maybe more. 10 inches is the biggest I've seen. I've heard they get 12 or 16, not likely. Um, they're really hard to find. Even when you're in a good spot, you have to have good weather and good moisture level in the soil. Luck. You also have to lift a lot of really heavy boulders if you're looking for them during the daytime. So that can be pretty tiring. But it's why I like this spot because these boulders kind of line all these campsites. And they range from, you know, 100 to five or 600 pounds. So it's backbreaking. And I usually won't find a heroes, but I'll find other stuff, Jerusalem crickets, tiger centipedes, you know, polymorphas, um, warrior beetles, jewel scarabs. What else? Tarantulas. Uh, there's a couple different kinds out here. Uh, Cochis and uh, of course your standard Chalcotes and oh what else? What else might you find here? Giant-eyed click beetles. Um, of course, there's a lot of snakes, green rats, diamondbacks. What else is here? Come on, think. I don't know, but there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff under these boulders. Lots of logs. This looks like a good log. heavier than it looked. Look at that. A glorious jewel scarab. It's a pretty good find. Definitely one of the most interesting beetles in Arizona or in the United States. Hard to capture those colors on camera. They look a little different in real life. Pretty awesome. So I didn't even notice when I first flipped this log, some other beetles under there. <laughs> Pleasing fungus beetles. These are pretty awesome too, just cause, you know, there's not a whole lot of blue or colorful bees. Phone keeps messing up. Phone's a little dented. These are cool beetles. They eat a fungus that grows on rotting wood. They overwinter, so they have a longer lifespan than a lot of beetles do. Pretty nifty. How are you filling it in? So this is a pretty interesting find. 
here, this longhorn beetle here, dead. Here's another one. Um, not a typical longhorn beetle. It's called a western stump borer or hardwood or mesquite stump borer, ebogenus. Anyways. This is the female, the male actually has um, mandibles twice that size, big huge chompers, forked at the end for fighting. The, uh, it's a fighting, well the males are fighting beetles, most longhorns are not. Hopefully I'll find a live one here soon. Um, just for scale, that's, uh, you know, it's an inch or so, inch and a quarter. Well, here's another good one. Another good little beetle. Really large warrior beetle. I'm a little out of breath because I've been flipping a lot of really large boulders. So. It's one of my favorite beetles here. It's fighting beetle or warrior beetle. Passimachus species. Probably Californicus or something. It's the biggest North American species for sure. Again, it's an inch or so. Um, it's a predatory beetle and they eat Anything that they might run into when they're hanging out under a log or a rock, which is what they do most of the time. So they'll eat scorpions, other beetles, larvas, um, you know, chrysalis, snails, all that kind of stuff. But they, they can also come on the surface and chase shit down. They have um, really good eyesight and really fast runners. Let's see if you don't want to pester them too much because they stink really bad if you irritate them. You know, like a stink beetle, it's the same kind of smell. Run, buddy, show us what you can do. <laughs> That's their one weakness. Whoa, it's their one weakness. Can't get off their back when they're flipped. So sad. All right. Okay, buddy. What are you gonna do? You wanna run away? That is so awesome. Just his little attitude, his little mannerisms are adorbs. Yeah. 